This is my first version of the Squawk and Talk soundboard that I've been working on. Finally got it laid out on a printed circuit board. This is the Squawk and Talk tester that I've created at the bottom here that I've showed in other videos. The Squawk and Talk tester has two transformers on it, like the transformers in the base of the Bally pinball machines. It's got a six volt transformer which goes straight through the board. My board doesn't use the six volts. I've also got a 12 volt transformer that goes to the tester board and is full bridge rectified and sent right to the connector just like on the pinball machine. In the pinball machine and on mine, there's a diode and a capacitor to filter it to a nice 12 volt signal, which goes to two places. It goes to my five volt power supply, which I've got to set to five volts, and also goes to my single channel sound amplifier. There's some chips on the board. There's the inverter set that's the same ones that are on the Squawk and Talk board. I've also got some pads here for a Schmidt trigger if I want to try that out later. I've got my processor and I've got five dip switches for various options which I don't have programmed yet. And then I've got my three volume knobs, kind of a pre-amplifier where you can set different types of sounds to different volumes. You've got the voices in the first volume, the sound effects on the second one, and the background noises on the third one. This is similar to what's on the Squawk and Talk board, except for it does not have a separate knob for the background sounds. I've also got a MP3 player that's got a little SD card on it. This is a zero latency or very low latency uh, MP3 player that is polyphonic. The MP3 player's got a speaker output which can power a small speaker. I've got that wire here. I'm not gonna have that in the final version. What I am using though is the component out which sends the sound to my single channel amplifier which has got a built-in volume knob. That goes to the output connector which is normally on a squawk and talk board to your speaker. And I've got behind the coin doors another volume knob. So there's actually three volume knob sets here. Let's play one of the sounds here. Let's do sound 239, which is the Pac-Man. So this is polyphonic, so it can play sounds together. Let's play it multiple times. It's kind of neat. We can scroll up to some of the other sounds here. That would be a neat one to try repeating. <laughs> kind of annoying. Here's the here's the waka sound. It's kind of neat. Next step is to put this in my pinball machine and see if it fits. Stay tuned for a next video.